Hello and welcome to the 14 tutorial in the HTML Basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the radio button element within the forms tag. If you haven't done the first tutorial in this series then there'll be a link in the description to the source code because that's the base code we'll be using and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the actual project from the first tutorial. So I'm just going to get rid of the hello world and add a form tag. Close off the form tag and then in here put an input. I'll type radio. Then I'll put a name equals, I'm going to put car. Then I'm going to put a value equals Honda. And let's close off this tag and put Honda there. I'm going to put, actually, I'll just copy and paste this so it's just a lot quicker. I'm going to change this to BMW. BMW, save that. And now it's just time to run the web page. Okay, here we go. We've got Honda. We've got BMW and if I click on Honda, it selects Honda, but if I click on BMW, it deselects the Honda radio button. That is the whole premise of a radio button. You select one or the other within that form. So this could be, for example, what is your favorite car? You probably have more, but no options. Uh, I'll select a BMW or maybe I want to select Honda, for example. And if you just go back to the code for a moment, the text that you see that says Honda and BMW is this text here. And then we could identify the radio buttons by, sorry about that, we could identify the radio buttons by the name car and then use a value that is part of the value and commit that pass to a database saying user A's favorite car is Honda or BMW. It's pretty simple to do radio buttons as part of the form. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at text areas. Thanks for watching.